Welcome to the vlog. I'm gonna do a weekend in my life video and it's Friday morning. I'm actually getting ready to go to work. Um, I have switched jobs since I vlogged, which is part of the reason I took a little bit of a break. So different job means a different attire. I would have never been able to wear this to work. I'm just wearing workout clothes. I got my nails done. I want to show you guys them a little bit later when you can actually see them in the like focus because the iPhone isn't picking that up. Also update, I got this Monstera. Look how beautiful she is. I do not have any big Monsteras. I only have little guys. Um, so that's been fun. Nail day plants, but I'm going to head to work and then I think we're picking up a coffee table today from Facebook Marketplace and we might go to this night market in St. Louis, which is like, think of it like a Saturday flea market, but at night, obviously, and I think they have food trucks. Not sure if I can eat anything there, but we'll probably make dinner and then go. Maybe Sam will have a beverage. So yeah, uh, it's going to be a great weekend. I'll take you guys along. I'll stop talking and just show you. Um, maybe I'll get some clips at work if I'm not too nervous. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. We're back with the coffee table. So we have coffee table and side table. This is the current setup. Number one, it's actually a mess. These are flowers from work how stunning I'll trim them down and we'll make them work but I have all of my new book hauls my sewing kits out here we have a huge mess this is for school hide her address a vase I DIY like this is seriously atrocious but this is about to get replaced and then possibly this is about to get replaced with that side table but we'll see how it goes we'll have to move the vinyl somewhere but this is situation so we're gonna get it all moved I'm gonna clean up and then we can like see where what fits where maybe the other table can even go here and we can lift all this up but I'm not making any promises until we see how it looks okay I can finally give a tour now we have got the pieces into place and we we're gonna rearrange like the rug or you know get a different rug get a different media stand but we're just gonna cross that bridge when we get there and for now we got both of these tables for $60 um, combined. So let me show you. So let's start with this one. So this is the first coffee table. Um, it's one of those beautiful like um, stone. It's not really stone. Tables with the glass tops. Looks like this. So cute. I just have it styled with like whatever I have. I actually want to go more towards a Spanish vibe but obviously I have like a lot of pinks and greens and that's just not what that is. But for now, this is a little bit too tall for our media stand. So we're gonna get a taller media stand, different, not really brown wood. Let me back up here so you can see. So this is like the view that you get. So it's fine. It's just, we need a different colored rod, like maybe navy, and then it won't like all blend as one thing. And then we replace our other side table with this one. These are just like storage but it's the same exact style, it's just smaller. So like the little circular bit, like the yin and yang bit is just over here, but I styled it really similarly. So you can see there's like pinks, it's kind of like mod vibes, but I'm hoping to switch it to more like Spanish. All of this boho stuff is gonna go. And I thought, gonna... anyway, we moved our vinyls over here. So then it's right next to the record player. It makes way more sense. Um, let me back up so you can just see everything but it's looking good definitely gonna switch this out gonna switch this out and over time it will become more complete this couch definitely needs to be pushed forward and then you know very cream pillows so this is very a, a great find and it will be like really vital to the house also if you're looking for good candles i think they're this is only sold wholesale, but you have to try Mame & Co. Check like local boutiques, they might have it. They're so amazing, they smell so good. Um, and then we obviously have our OG. If you're wondering what our house smells like, slow burn, Casey Musgraves. I won't repurchase, but I've obviously used like a lot of it. So it's a cute color, like amber glass, but 
Yay, I'll check in in a bit when we're eating dinner. Okay, dinner is served. We have a Beyond Burger in there. Uh, lettuce wrapped, of course. Coleslaw. We have sweet potato fries, yellow squash, and then like roasted onion. There we go. And then just normal burger toppings in there. This is gonna be so good. Samir, let me see yours. You, he has a bagel. So a little bit more interesting and he like melted his cheese and stuff, but he has regular fries, all that. And this is the best coleslaw. If you want my recipe, comment below and I'll give it to you, even though it's very elementary level. And avocado, of course. Yum, I'll check in after class, girl. Saturday. We ran this morning and then we went to this little farmer's market and grabbed like beverages and now we just went to Ikea. So I'm going to show you guys what else we're going to change in the house this weekend to make it feel like more complete and hopefully we'll go thrifting for some pieces. So I'm excited but let me show you with what we're show you what we're working with as of right now. Okay so this wall is just like a scattered gallery wall. It kind of never got finished and we're going to move the trash can um, and put it where this shelf is. This shelf's gonna go. So I'm just gonna kind of do like an overview of what it looks like before, and then we'll just do like an after, I guess. Okay, let me back up so you can see. We've got it built. This is obviously with the doors open. Think more plants from the top. We got to choose the spacing of the shelves apart from this one. So it was kind of able to make bigger gaps, which I like. So I just have filled it with like random stuff right now. I will make it more functional. Like I really want my beautiful barware here. This like is none of this will stay the same. It's just pieces that I think I'm going to use. This will get painted because I just gray is like my least favorite color on earth prettier like spines of books so that it like brings in a lot more color just a lot of like random stuff I love this plate so I need to get something else that's blue maybe blue like navy blue big plates or something to balance I'm not quite sure but we're gonna make sure that it can actually like fit stuff I'm gonna close one side I actually am gonna get gold handles as well so um I haven't put the handles on or anything but it's definitely gonna look really good. I'm excited, I'm gonna close this. So you can see actually with the door, door is closed. We took down like the shelf and everything. So I just, we have to clean up this entire mess. All this was like hanging around. This needs to get put up over there. Like it's just a mess, but it will end up like looking really cute. So I'm excited. I don't remember if I updated it yesterday, but I'm pretty sure I showed you the finished cabinet that we put together from Ikea. Um, I will actually put the name of the cabinet on the screen somewhere, just so you guys can reference it. When we went to Ikea, a lot of the things that I liked were sold out. This is actually the last one in store in black um, at all. And then it's similar to the Billy cabinet, which was like my first choice, but that was sold out and I hated the hand that the handles were small. So I ended up working out, but, um, if you are, you know, looking for a cabinet like this and you want to go on the less expensive route, I would probably like try to stay here at Ikea as soon as you can, because maybe they're having just shortages like most businesses are these days. So Anyway, that's the details on that. I'm going to repot, uh, repot this Monstera today. We're actually going to run some errands. I want to go to the thrift store and just try to get some cute, like, big, like, statement bowls for this. Some navy plates from there, maybe. Um, even if I have to DIY the bowl with, like, spray paint and texture spray, like, I'm down. Um, I just want to make it, like, a really minimal 
uh, renovation cost-wise to the kitchen um because we're gonna buy a new rug and a media stand so just trying to fit all that in if you are you know wanting to redo your house or apartment on a budget like i suggest splurging on some pieces like our rug is not the cheapest that we're gonna buy but then saving on other pieces like the coffee table from Facebook Marketplace or the Ikea cabinet. The cabinet I wanted was $2,000. <laughs> this one was under 200. So it's like making compromises, filling the cabinet with less expensive goods and DIY things. Um, that's my suggestion. We have a really beautiful home. My friend Zoe, she's an interior designer, has she helped a lot with that, but I think I do an okay job. Um, and I'm excited about the new pieces. I can't wait to show you guys the finished living room. Let me know if you want me to do like a little house tour. Um, our apartment is pretty small. I think it's 1,200 square feet, but it might be smaller actually. Um, so like it's not some huge, you know, MTV Cribs tour, but I think we did a really good job and I'm so like happy with the space. We have all these windows. Um, so we actually get a lot of natural light and then our ceilings are vaulted so we it feels like really roomy in the living room which is why we're like out here so much but anyway it is currently like 8 a.m Samir is still sleeping if you have a partner and you're the early riser literally like let me know how you deal with it because the cats wake me up every morning for food and Samir just like can sleep through anything <laughs> literally one time we slept through a fire alarm and a tornado like he can sleep through anything so I'm just always the one up and awake in the morning. And then I made my coffee. Um, again, I just used an espresso. And if you're curious, really like the details of my life, I use the Altiso single shot espresso pods. And I use vanilla, unsweetened vanilla almond milk and a little bit of nut pods. Cinnamon is my favorite. So that's my coffee recipe. And I'm a former barista. I was a barista for like over three years, I think. So you can trust me with my coffee rocks oh sorry see i don't know how to like hold it anyway um yeah so today we're gonna go to the thrift we're gonna go to the antique mall um which is just like super close and then we're actually gonna go to h&m i have mentioned we have a trip coming up and samir just like needs some clothes and to be styled so i'm gonna help him I think I'm gonna like title this video half of it like turning my boyfriend into an inst or my husband into like an Instagram model but like I'm gonna really actually just try to style him with what he has and what H&M has gypsies on the counter um and then maybe like if there's anything cute for me I don't know so maybe, like he wears a uniform to work so he doesn't have to like wear clothes though his clothes he can buy clothes from H&M they last such for a long time Whereas like me, I don't, I tend to invest in quality pieces because I wear those pieces all the time. So H&M is like a good spot for him. Or like Walmart has really good t-shirts. Um, he'll probably wear one today so I can show you guys if he lets me put his face on camera. Um, anyway, I will, oh my gosh, there's a bug on me. I will check back in in a bit. Let me show you guys my nails really quickly and then I'm just gonna probably like start waking up it's Sunday, so the stores aren't going to open until like 11, so I have a couple hours to probably just like watch YouTube. I made like banana bread, but like healthy, so no flour in the bread, so I'm going to like eat that probably as a snack. Um, but let me show you guys my nails. So this is, I obviously shot this entire vlog on my iPhone just for like portability reasons, but I'm just going to show you guys. So we did, this is dip. This is an almond shape. I have, um, it's the exact same on my other hands, except the mushrooms are in, on different um, fingers. But we do dip. She does, if you're curious, she does a like really light pink first before the sparkle. She does two layers of that. Um, I think it's called like ugh, laundry, but that's actually wrong. I don't know what it's called. Light pink. And then she does the sparkle. So this is a just rainbow shimmer. Um, I don't know if your nail salon has multiple options, but I just did like the lightest, but it still looks scattered. And then she hand paints, obviously, these like little mushroom guys on. If you have watched any of my other videos, or I have like most of my design nails on my TikTok, she's done like a lot more intricate designs. I think these are so fun. Um, this is my natural nail too, so no acrylic under here or anything. Um, and again, if you are in the St. Louis area, and you need to like 
to find someone to go to, just DM me and I will send over um, who does my nails because she's absolutely incredible. Okay, we're in the car. We just went to the thrift store. I will show you guys. I got some stuff from my Depop again, so stay tuned. But I'll show you guys what we got. We got Sam two shirts. They're so cute. Um, so we're gonna go to H&M. That's our main place for turning your husband into an Instagram model. We're gonna go there. Um, and then we also did get some stuff for the house, but Savers was kind of dry. So we're gonna try the antique mall, maybe we'll see. But first, H&M. This is monumental. Savers, so first time on the vlog. Round of applause. Thank you for being here. He's hyped. Okay, so we did a huge haul. Look how big the bag is. Oh my gosh, and it's stuffed. So we went to Savers, which is our local thrift, or Value Village if you're on the West Coast or Canada. And then we went to H&M and we have one thing from Forever 21 men's section. So I feel like we did good. We've got a lot of stuff. I picked everything out. I styled him completely. So should be cute. Some stuff for Florida, but most of it actually was fall. I feel like we shopped a little bit too late for like a summer vacation. Um, so we're gonna get started and I'll show you what we got. Yay. Okay, so first thing we'll start with saver stuff. Um, everything is 30% off if you guys can read the tags it might be backwards but these are like all over men's Pinterest I'm gonna go up close you can see it's like a textured wide button up only has like two buttons around the collar it's really nice and easy this is like all over Pinterest then this vintage striped shirt this is cute Samir is not sold on this really big I think it's a size large it's really, really big. Samir's not sold, but he gave me full creative liberty and we had a pact where he couldn't complain if I had anything <laughs> that I bought. So we got this. And then let's do the Forever 21. This is a staple. Men, I feel like don't wear sweaters. Like I feel like none of your friends or like anybody wears sweaters really. Yeah. But you should because they're so nice. This was on sale for $9 from Forever 21. It's literally um, just like a basic black not cable knit, but like thick, actually nice material um, sweater. I think that'll be really nice for you. He's gonna try a few things on for us so you guys can like see it, but I just wanna show you in case you also have to shop for your mans, you know what to get. Cause I feel like you like most of what I got you, pretty much. Yeah, most of it. Most of it, okay, good. So this is like most important. I thought he needed this. This is a sweatsuit. So it does have some text, but it's like monochromatic. This is like a, what color is this? It's not really showing up. It's more like blue, blue gray. So you got the sweats. I will make you try this on Samir, just so that they can see like how a cool boy it looks. And then the hoodie and it does also have text in the center, if you guys can see that. So this is like a matching situation. I have a similar color, so I was biased on the color he picked. And then t-shirts, H&M and Walmart are the best. This, I was, I said earlier, he might wear a Walmart t-shirt. This is actually a thrifted, um, like a vintage Reebok t-shirt that I found him. This actually was mine and then I gave it to him, but it's a men's large. It's really nice. Anyway, so they have good basics. Check H&M for like t-shirts as long as they don't need to last for a long time. And then we hit up the sales section, which honestly kind of slapped. So we have this button up it has like big cats on it like leopards such florida vibes i feel like this is that like tacky shirt trend um and i think the color is cute on smear when he's tan so this is a medium you'll see some stuff on him probably not this to be honest but um i really like it kind of looks like camo but it's not and it's like lighter safari vibes and then this was also actually on sale. So the previous shirt, $8.99, this is also $8.99. And this is just easy striped. It almost looks like little boy vibes, but it's cute. It's like a big fit. So it'll be cute if you start with like loose cargos or something. And then these, which I will make you try on. These are, it doesn't say, they're just like slim fit. What's the material? Just cotton? I think it's polyester. Okay. Recycled polyester. Probably not the best material, but honestly, they're just like slim fit. They have a waistband, which makes them a, li a lot more casual. I would say this, it almost gives me linen pant vibes, but a little bit more tailored. So 
that's what we got Samir. I'm gonna make him try on a little bit of the clothes. You guys can see like the fits and the styles that we're going for. I feel like it's very Instagram vibes. So will you change? Sure. Thank you. Okay, here is Samir in the sweatsuit. Thank you for being our model. The It doesn't have any big pocket here, but you have side pockets on either side. This is an extra large top and medium in the pants in case you feel like your boyfriend looks like Samir. <laughs> Honestly, this could be unisex though. It's really nice. You can barely tell that there's the writing on the um, top or the bottom. So, so cute, very like Instagram. I wish I could fit it all in the frame, but I can't. And we're gonna try on another outfit now. Thanks, Sam. All right, we got look number two. This hat is actually new and it's from Urban. So it's not centered on Samir's head, but it's a corduroy bucket. Obviously it's Obey. And then we've got the shirt from Savers. So you can see it's so cute. It kind of gives me Zara vibes. So it's like a very beautiful textured, look forward for me, sorry. And then it just has like gold buttons. Honestly, those are irrelevant to the whole point, but you can see how wide it is. So this is a large on Samir. It's very wide, which is like kind of that street style vibe. And then these are those pants from H&M. So they kind of look like jeans. It could be black jeans or cargos or whatever. Um, it's just these look comfortable and they feel nice. So I know Samir won't like be upset if he has to wear them. So this is so cute. This is like my favorite look so far. Um, and then we have more to go. Okay, another look, same black pants. This is obviously a lot more casual. I'm gonna get up closer. So this is the striped, it's like blues and greens, like a variety of blues and greens. Really nice long sleeves, so they look scrunch. Really cute. I feel like this is such casual vibes. This is like what Smear would wear. Like if I wasn't picking out his outfits, I'm sure he could put this together. Um, so this is really cute. And then this actually is in a small. So I would say for H&M, Samir ranges from mostly like a medium to large, but some stuff is, it says like relaxed. And so I, you could go true to, true to size. Do you think that's true? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like a small is good. So yay. Cute looks. So that was our Sunday so far. I think I'm going to make some black tea and then I bought a sugar-free uh, lemonade. It's called Swoon. If you're ever at like a health food store, it's canned. It's really good, so I'm gonna make some Arnold Palmer's, a sugar-free substitute virgin. Um, and then we're just gonna relax today. We're gonna go to the gym, so maybe I'll take you guys, like, you know, I'll do my little montage footage there. But I don't think it'll be super eventful. We have school. This is the first day back at school after a week off from finals week, um, the week before last. And then I work this week. So this will be the last day of the vlog. Hopefully it was interesting. We had a lot of, like, you know, shopping. <laughs> shopping for the house, shopping for Samir. Um, which I always think is interesting. I love to see how girls like style the guys because it is difficult and Sam hates spending money on anything, let alone clothes for us himself. So that's why we always just go with thrift, H&M forever, and maybe Zara for feeling spicy. So I will let you guys know if I, or I will show, bring you guys along if we're doing anything else, but this might be pretty much the last talking clip of the vlog, unless I make a yummy dinner and I'll talk you guys through that. So I'll see you later. You can tell by the length of this video if I film or not, but I'll see you next time.